Welcome back to Gaming Mysteries, where last time I discussed three cancelled Kirby games, meaning there's no time like the present to talk about more cancelled Kirby games, as well as an excuse for me to remake what was my fourth Gaming Mysteries video back in 2010-ish, because it sucked. So I'm sorry about that. And so today on Gaming Mysteries, I'll be talking about the cancelled GameCube title, Kirby Adventure, and how it, as well as two other Scrapped projects, managed to come together and live on for a lovely return to Dreamland. Now Kirby Adventure was announced and revealed at E3 2005, and was to be a 2.5D platformer in the same vein as Kirby and the Crystal Shards. You'd still be able to absorb the power of your foes, though some of your abilities were given some really nice redesigns. A more noticeable addition though is that the game would, much like Superstar, feature the appearance of the helper system or something similar, which as shown in the game's only trailer, after absorbing an enemy and taking their power, you can keep it or forfeit that power in exchange for a quote unquote helper character. It appears as though you could have three allies at a time and those allies could be controlled by real people should you have any handy or the CPU if you're me. And the game looked amazing, especially coming off of Crystal Shards, which is a game I liked quite a bit despite it being kind of easy. And so I got happy. Sadly though, the game was absent from the following year's E3 and from there forward, Nintendo remained very quiet regarding the status of the project which of course led to a lot of confusion. As despite not showing up at E3 2006, a Kirby game under a generic name was listed as a title coming for the Wii, and only a few months later on a list of upcoming Wii games for Japan, Kirby was brought up yet again. But again, nothing came to be. At E3 2007, however, when asked if Nintendo had abandoned Kirby for the GameCube, they then said to not forget about Kirby for the Wii, and so of course later that same year it was confirmed that there was no Kirby game in development for the Wii at that time. Given all the conflicted sources, that left fans a little lost, and as such they turned to speculation and the internet. One and the same, really. Some, like myself, had simply given up hope and tried to accept the fact that the game was dead and gone, though the internet had some different theories in mind. Some speculated that the game turned into the subspace emissary mode from Brawl, which was a theory that I just couldn't get behind, mostly because it's really depressing to think that Nintendo would kill off a perfectly good Kirby game to just turn it into a game mode, when they could do both the game mode and a Kirby game, and I would throw money at both those things, and everybody wins. And after that, people speculated that the game became Kirby Epic Yarn, which seemed to make sense at first, given that Nintendo did mention a Kirby game for the Wii, and that was a Kirby game for the Wii, but it was a theory that I just couldn't latch onto based on the game that they were initially showing off for the GameCube, because Epic Yarn is just way too much of a logic leap for me to believe that they could even be the same thing. And from there, nothing. People seemed to either go with the Subspace Emissary theory, or accepted that the game was cancelled and lost forever and cried. That was until an Awada's Ask where we learned not only the main reason Kirby Adventure was cancelled, but that it was only one of three cancelled Kirby games. As for why Kirby Adventure didn't see a release, the game was going for a multiplayer focus, and even though the CPU would pick up the slack for us socially awkward folk, they ultimately ran into difficulties making a game that was both fun in multiplayer and single player. The second cancelled project, which looks quite interesting, was apparently an experiment with extremely challenging gameplay, placing Kirby in a 3D space that allowed the player to move around freely. Sadly, they weren't able to achieve the quality they hoped for, and it never came to completion. The final cancelled project looks more like a return to form for Kirby, featuring an animated Kirby and enemies that gave off a slight pop-up book vibe. The game was to renew Kirby's copy abilities as well as power them up, but as with the other two projects, it didn't come to be. And so for 11 years, give or take, the team was constantly working with three games that just for whatever reason would not come together, wanting to release those games for the fans who wanted to play them, but not being able to because none of them actually met their standards of quality, or at least a quality that would satisfy both them and the fans. And it's sad to know that we lost three perfectly goodish Kirby games, though luckily they did manage to live on as aspects from the three cancelled projects were combined together with the end result being Kirby's Return to Dreamland, a title that retained the multiplayer found in Kirby's Adventure, albeit in a much more simplified state as it's not exactly the same helper system anymore. Which is a bummer from the perspective of wanting to eat together your own army, but DDD is in the game and you can still piggyback it up, so there's that. And of course, Return to Dreamland also kept the 2D style gameplay found in both Adventure and Unnamed Kirby Game Number 3, as well as keeping some of the new power designs from Adventure and Unnamed Kirby Game Number 3's idea of having powered up copy abilities in the form of Dreamland's super abilities. As for what they took from the challenging 3D Unnamed Kirby Game Number 2, 
I'm not exactly sure. Sadly, Nintendo didn't really elaborate much on those lost Kirby games, but perhaps that's for the better, as it would probably just lead to more depression and sorrow on everyone's part. But that was the cancelled Kirby Adventure and its cancelled pals. Hopefully a less sucky video than that last one I did in 2010. Now while I am bummed we'll never get our hands on the cancelled games. What does make me genuinely happy is that unlike at the end of a lot of these videos, we actually have some kind of closure. Sure, we lost some games, but we know what happened to those games and ultimately got a fantastic game to play out of those lost games. And that's something I think everyone can appreciate. And so this has been Gaming Mysteries. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to Enslate, where it's windy outside, and also last night I went to bed, and when I woke up, Nintendo had announced a new console and that they were doing mobile stuff, and basically the world doesn't make any sense anymore. So I'm confused, but I hope you guys enjoyed the gaming mysteries on Kirby Adventure Redux. Uh, Kirby Adventure and his cancelled Kirby Pals. Uh, I've been wanting to redo this video for a long time. And since I talked about those Kirby games just, uh, just not too long ago, I figured now is the time, because I have Kirby music stuck in my head. What better time? But I hope you enjoyed the video, and now we're going to move on to Enslady businesses of Enslate of stuff. So come now. Uh, let's see. Last time on Enslate... Oh, wait. No. That's not what I... That's not what I say. Shit! Uh... First thing I'd like to recommend on Enslate, there, I got I got my shit together, I remember Enslate. The first thing I'd like to recommend on Enslate is the last video I did on this channel. You already want to remember stuff. It was a bullshit creepypasta story time on Super Mario 64, that creatively named story. Uh, and then the other two videos are going to be just videos I put there, and then you can click on if you want. You don't have to, but you can. Uh, and then there's the bottom of the screen, uh, you can follow Nico's Twitter, Nico. Made a new intro, if you didn't see it, he also made an obscure gaming one, and I can't wait to use that one, actually. So, I'm gonna try and do an obscure gaming soon, because I want you guys to see that, because it's neat. Uh, yes, follow, he does art, and you should follow him, and you can follow me on Twitter. Ah, I hit my desk. You can follow me on Twitter if you want, or the Facebook, but, uh, you know. And then, uh, as for the last thing that I always dance around, uh, if you want to like the video, or subscribe, or share, or do any of the stuff that people always ask you to do, uh, you're more than welcome to do so, and it's greatly appreciated, but I'm not going to force you to do it. And it's really windy out. Fuck. I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if the mic's going to pick that up. Uh, probably should have closed my window. And Slate doesn't need to close a window, though, so I'll I'll see you guys next time on Enslate. What's the video going to be? I don't know. Gundam? Maybe. See you guys next time on Enslate.